Creating a shop GUI in Roblox is a rather simple task. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is head over to our starter GUI, click the plus icon and add a screen GUI. In this screen GUI, we're going to add a, a frame. As you can see, the frame is right here in the screen. I'm just going to bring this in, align it in the center and expand it out into a rectangle so that I can display my shop underneath. And here we go. Now I'm quickly going to give it a different color. So a nice and easy color to look at. Maybe a light red. Yep, that works. All right, so this is our uh, shop interface. You can make this a little bit wider. Select the frame, make it a little bit wider. Actually, plenty wide. And we are here. So now let's quickly add a text label as well. I'm quickly going to extend this label out so that it takes up space on top of the shop. And in the text properties, I'm going to make the background transparency to one because I don't want the background to be visible. And then um, in scroll down, and enable the text scaled option so that the text uh, takes up the shop's uh, header. Just call it the item shop. And if you want, you can also change your font face. So uh, there are a bunch of fonts here, but I'm just going to use this one. It's called Bangers. All right, and there we're good to go. So now you can also add. Um, Change the text color, the text direction, add uh, strokes and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to do that because this looks fine to me. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is uh, within this frame, we're going to add uh, a button. It's going to appear on this uh, end. So we're going to bring this here and turn this into a square. All right. Now, uh, within the button, let's come down. And now we're going to make a few changes. First thing, let's change the font face to bangers as well. Um, scroll down, enable the text scaled property. Go all the way up. Change the background color to something different, I guess. Because not we've used up red. A brighter red, pink, or whatever. Let's just go with orange. Click on OK, and I'm going to edit the text of this to just say X, so that now it's a button that we can click. OK, cool. Uh, so now our basic GUI is ready. Actually, you can extend this uh, button out a little bit more so that it takes up the width of the parent um, if you want to quickly do that you can also come down to the size option and go one comma zero comma one comma zero but this will force the button to go take the width of its entire parent so make sure that you use that appropriately uh, in any case we have our button ready now we're quickly going to add a open shop button as well so uh, head over to your screen gui and click on text button. So this adds a button outside. We're going to bring this somewhere here. It's fine, I guess. And then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so let's quickly come down, change the font face to bangers. Make sure that the text scaled property is enabled. And uh, make sure that the background transparency is uh, one if you want a transparent button or if you want to give it a background, we can just give this shop and I can change this text to read uh, shop. All right. Uh, if you want to make this nicer, you can also add like a UI corner to make the button rounded and maybe also a UI stroke. 
to add like a no added it to the wrong thing no nope. so it's adds the stroke to the text itself but anyways this is our uh, shop button good and ready to go now we need to add some scripts to make these buttons work so the first thing we're going to do is since we want to hide the shop gui by default select your frame and in here you will see a property called uh, visible make sure that you uncheck this so this will hide your frame by default then select a shop button click the plus icon and select local script this will open up a script editor for you and in here you can come and uh, copy paste this script so what it does is that when the button is clicked it sets the current frame uh, that we're looking for to true so it will make this particular frame come to life and close this and then uh, we can go to our button within the frame add a local script get rid of hello world and uh, we can then change that visibility to false when we want to show the script or close the menu so um, this should be ready to go now so if we click play the shop uh, opens up or oh, actually the game runs and if i click on the shop button it shows me the item shop and if i click on this button again it hides it and uh, that's it that's how you can quickly make a shop gui in roblox you can now add items to this shop and have your own currency system as well but that's slightly beyond the scope of this video so we're going to cover that later until then if you like these videos consider subscribing to the channel and come back for more roblox videos